Hi, I'm Julia and today I'd like to introduce you to Napki, the software that makes your mockups come alive. Here on the screen we have Napki on the left side and on the right side there are Spalsamic mockups, the low fidelity wireframing tool. I already have two saved mockups, a sign in and a sign up form and they are linked together as you can see here. Now it's Napki's turn. I import the balsamic mockups file with a sign in form and as you can see the linked sign up form is detected and imported for me. With the tabs you can explore the different sources and have a preview of the final result. Since the web export uses CSS you can easily modify the appearance of the components and you can also modify the default font used by the exports. There you go, we got rid of comic. Once I check the preview of the files, I can finally export the project by clicking the export project button. And this is my exported website, and as you can see, it already includes the links I sent on balsamic mockups. Isn't that cool? Those were pretty simple components, but what about more advanced ones? I guess you all remember the MyTunes mockup that Pelly shows on his screencast. I already created something really close to it. The next step is to link MyTunes to the sign in button. I save on Balsamic mockups, and as you can see, the file is automatically imported to Napki. Now I switch to the Flex 3 Nature, so you can also see that part. Let's click on the MyTunes file. Here you can see the MXML and the Action Script tabs and the preview that already includes some advanced controls such as CoverFlow or DataGrid. You can export the Flex source code by clicking the Export Project button. The export is already a Flex Builder 3 project. Remember that Napki is an Air application, so it's available on Mac, Linux and Windows. I hope you enjoyed watching this introduction to Napki. For comments, requests or just to say hi, click on the About Us section of napkey.com.